bass, then boots to Collins. You versus me, that's like I'll leave versus Foreman. God's act. My name is Tyler and in today's video I decided that I wanted to make a brand new setup video because I haven't done one of these in a really really long time. Now before I even get into the setup video for today or like my room tour I guess you could say, uh, I wanted to start off today's video by saying that I want to do a giveaway on my channel because I'm going to be coming up on 20k subs soon and it's around Christmas time and everything. So before I even start this video, I just want to let you guys know that I'm going to be doing a giveaway on my channel. So if you guys are interested in the giveaway, there's only three things that you guys need to know. One, the first thing that you guys need to know is that the giveaway is on Xbox, PS4, or Amazon. It's up to you guys to choose. So if you guys want an Amazon gift card, let me know in the comments by saying Amazon, or PS4, or Xbox. Because one of the three, that's going to be your choice of what you get. Now if you want to participate in the giveaway that I'm doing today in this video, the first thing that you need to do, the number one step, is to be sure to sub to my channel. Go ahead and click the link down below or the sub button down below this video to subscribe. Another thing you need to do is like this video, and on top of liking the video, you also need to follow me on Twitter. I will put my handle on the screen here or whatever. But if you do all three of those things, I'm going to be picking you for a giveaway. You have the chance you'll be entered into the giveaway. So if you've done all three of those things, like like the video, sub to my channel, and go ahead and follow me on Twitter, then you will be automatically entered into this giveaway. You will have a chance at winning either an Amazon, a PS4, or an Xbox gift card. So go ahead and let me know in the comments what you guys want. So enough of this vlogging, I'm going to go ahead and get right into the setup or room tour like I said. And if you guys are interested in getting any of the stuff that you guys see that I have for my setup here, I'm going to go ahead and link just about everything that I can find links for in the description of this video so you guys can go ahead and buy it yourself. But anyways, without further ado, let's get into the room tour. So first thing you'll notice when you come into my room is right to your right is the bed here. And then over here we have just like the shoes that I normally wear on a daily basis. You know, these are like my dunks that I use for skateboarding. You've seen those in plenty of skate videos. The standard all black Air Force Ones. Uh, some old school dunk highs before the SB, like pre-SB branding. These are dope. I love these shoes so much. And um, these are like a limited edition neck face uh, blazers and then just some old skated like booznets. I use these mainly for yard work and stuff like that. Okay, moving on over here on the other side of where the shoes are, we have this old cabinet and like mirror. I don't ever use the cabinet anymore. Um, then it's just like some of the hats that I normally wear, you know, like camp caps here. Got another one hidden back here. Uh, just a couple beanies here and like regular hats. I got like a face mask, some sunglasses. Just basically like random stuff I have over here. This is just kind of stuff that I usually use on a daily basis. And then also a few like display boxes. I have a broken uh, a broken iPhone 6s plus here I need to get fixed. Now heading this way, entering into my main setup, you come in here in between my bed and the desk. And uh, the first thing you see is like this cabinet. It just has more kind of display boxes like just things that I use pretty much on a daily basis like deodorant and stuff. Right here I've got my keys, like a necklace. Um, an orange to be honest, I don't know why the fuck that's there, but there's an orange. And then, in the cabinet, we have just kind of like all these oil rigs up here on the top. I know you can't really see it that well, hopefully I'll color correct it and fix it. Got some pop tarts on this side for the munchies, just like munchies and shit. But yeah, it's just kind of like miscellaneous things in here, accessories, got like a Supreme sticker here. Uh, you know, just a few things that are in here. And now for the main thing you guys have been waiting to see, the whole like gaming setup that I have here in my room. So uh, I guess we'll just start off left to right here. So starting off, I have an Acer Aspire E5 laptop. I think it's the um, i5 series. I may be wrong, it may be the i7, I'll double check, but I'll be sure to put the link to that in the description if any of you are interested in this laptop. Uh, along with all the specs and everything, but it's a pretty good laptop. I do enjoy using it. I mainly only use it for like traveling and on vacation and stuff. But um, yeah, I just kind of have that there like on the side. Moving over to the right here, I have like my main desktop. As you can see, I've got dual monitors here, both the same Asus monitors. 
and uh, I think they're 22 inches. I'll have those in the description as well. And here is my Corsair RGB Strife keyboard. This is the keyboard I use for like everything. So many people comment and ask me what keyboard I use, so that's the keyboard for those of you interested. Again, link in the description. Over here on the right, we have my mouse. It's just like a Razer Death Adder Chroma. As you can see underneath it, if you recognize that, you are an OG sub. So that is like the OG old, 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 old ass fucking Therns logo. Like that is like the oldest shit from way back when I started. So as you can see over here on my second monitor, I've got the main one with my computer and then this one here actually is capable of switching between my PS4 and my Xbox as well as being used as like a secondary uh, monitor. Like as you can see here, I can switch it to the DVI setting and then boom right like that I've got dual monitors for my lap or for my desktop I can drag in between back and forth um, it's just in general really really nice really useful but I'm gonna go back to MW2 here continuing on on the right side we have both of my scuff controllers I've got the PS4 scuff and the 360 scuff controller right here as you can see the 360 is a wired scuff controller PS4 is just obviously wireless um, over here I've got one Astro mix amp. This one is connected to my Xbox 360 as well as my desktop. And so I have my Astros up here. And um, yeah, these are the headset I use for everything. Like I use them for editing. I use this headset for like playing Xbox, PS4, literally everything. It's a really, really good headset. But moving on from the Astros over here to the right, I just have like a spare regular DualShock standard PS4 controller. I've literally never used it in my life. Um, over here we have just a Bluetooth speaker that I use, a torch, and then the second mix amp, and I know this one just like randomly looks like it's here, but uh, I have this auxiliary cord here that runs from this mix amp to the one that's right here. So what that does is it allows me to use the same mix amp for my PS4 here and my Xbox, meaning I do not have to switch this headset around. I can keep the headset plugged in and use the same Astros for all my computer and over here on my PS4 and my 360 I can use the same Astros for literally everything. It's really really convenient. Here in the middle I have my uh, PC tower. I actually built this all myself. Um, it's completely custom built from the ground up. I'll have the specs to this computer down below in the description as well. I've also upgraded it since I've built it. So it's not everything that was originally in the price, but I think my original price paying for this computer with all the parts and everything that I bought, and this is just like the tower and the parts in the tower, not including the monitors or the keyboard or any of that. Um, but I think I paid around like $700 for this tower uh, and all the parts that are in it. And then I've slowly kind of upgraded it as time has gone on because I've had this tower for around two years now. Moving on in the back here, we just have some standard like regular speakers. I just don't really use speakers that much, so I haven't invested in like a decent set of speakers for my computer to be honest because I really don't care that much about them. Um, on the right here, just some pens, pencils, markers and things, a couple sketchbooks. And these right here are actually pretty fucking cool. If you look got these like crazy ass fucking harry potter wands and uh a friend of mine actually brought these over here and just left them here so i've been hanging on to those for him i guess and now they're just sitting on my desk looking cool and um over here we have my elgato this is what i used to record everything with i have it set up like this i know it looks kind of like a mess in this corner with all the cables but I have it set up like this so I can easily access the HDMI here and switch between my PS4's HDMI and my Xbox's HDMI. And uh, it just allows it to really easily access this monitor over here so I can just sit and play. Um, and it doesn't really matter what I'm playing, either PS4 or 360, it just makes it really easy to switch between. As you can see, I've got two external hard drives for the 360. Both of these are plugged into here. And then I have, I think it's a 250 gigabyte slim model. And then these are like, shit, I don't know, I think they're both 120 or 250 gig hard drives, but um, I think Xbox only allows you to use like 50 on an external hard drive or something like that, so they're whatever the max is that you can use on the 360. And then down here we have the PS4 underneath, and I know it's probably not the best to have these like stacked up on each other, but uh, you know, it looks a lot better like this than having them next to each other or anything like that. They just take up so much space. And I guess the last thing I have is these LED lights that are under the desk. As you can see, I just have them like fading between colors. 
but I've got this little remote here and I can just switch like whatever color I want to. I usually keep them on this fading one here because I like the way it looks. It seems to uh, look nice with my keyboard and my mouse, how those are just always changing colors. I think it looks really nice like that. And then the last thing down here, got a trash can and then this uh, cabinet full of just like games. These are just like a bunch of 360 games. I've got a few like PS4 games and stuff in here, but that's really all that is. This top drawer is full of empty Elite wood bottles, so <laughs> I mean there's nothing really special left. But hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. If you guys did at any point, please be sure to leave a like down below. Let me know in the comments what you guys want for this giveaway. Either a PSN code, an Xbox 360 code, or Xbox One, I guess, or a uh, Amazon code. And also, it's going to be a $25 giveaway. So the winner is going to get $25. I'm going to pick somebody random out of the comment section of this video. So be sure to comment down below and uh, let me know what you want. Follow me on Twitter and sub just so you guys are made sure you're entered into this giveaway. But anyways, again, thank you guys so much for watching today's video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed my setup, my little room tour that I had going on. But anyways, I'm out. Peace!